Hey guys, this is She Reviews, and today we'll be talking about the different types of leather uh, boots that the Red Wing Women's Heritage line offers. I'll start off by saying that what separates the women's line from the men's line is that all women's heritage boots are made using female cowhide. And basically what that does to the boots is from the get-go, the boots are easier to break in. They, they're softer, they're more supple, and a lot of times there's a misconception and you'll probably hear this around on the internet in your search, but some women believe that it's not as great quality because it feels softer, uh, more flimsy. However, I've put my boots through the ringer. I know some of these boots you probably can't tell, but I do uh, take care of my boots. I wash them and condition them often. And um, I've proven that even when I'm on my feet nine plus hours a day beating my boots up, they're just as durable. I do have uh, three men's boots and I can tell you that aside from the weight being the biggest factor that I can tell in the stiffness of the leather, both boots feel equally durable to me. So moving on to the leather types. I have uh, these three boots in front of me. Both of these are their boundary leather. Uh, this one is the legacy leather. So the legacy leather in the Red Wing women's boots is a little thicker. You can just feel it. It's nice, it's supple, but it's thicker when you compare it to the boundary leathers. This leather is very, very, very flexible. I can just move it around with ease. Very little effort when I do that. Um, as opposed to the Oro, which I have to put a little, more, a little bit more effort in. It's a little more stiff. Um, what I found out when I reached out to Red Wing Heritage Women is that this leather is more robust and so it leaves room or more room for oils and wax when it's in the making um so this leather over here um is less permeable than this leather it's water resistant so water will roll off of it it'll beat up a little bit better than this one um i've wet my boots several times before and sometimes i thought oh my gosh i've damaged my boot because it looks like it stains but once it dries out it looks back to normal this was the very first pair of boots i purchased from red wing heritage women and when i first received it i just loved how the leather smelled it just smelled luxurious it smells completely different than these leathers um Again, I asked Red Wing Heritage Women why that was, and they just said that in the process of tanning the leathers um, and dyeing them, the different chemicals used just create a different scent in the different leathers. But this boot over here is a classic, and these two boots over here, um, the boundary leather, it's just very, very comfortable and very easy to break in from the get-go. Not that these aren't. These are also uh, easy to break in, but these feel more comfortable instantly. Moving on. The next uh, line of leathers I want to talk about is the rough out line of leathers. So here, once again, I have two boots uh, that have the same exact material and I have one that's slightly different. This is, um, these are both suede, so it's the rough out leather. Uh, what that means is that the outer leather or the full grain leather was reversed to expose this hairy side of the leather. Um, so on the inside of the boots, the inside of the suede boots is pretty neat, but if you look inside, it's basically the smooth part of the hide. And it's pretty fascinating because uh, some brands, in order to make suede, they basically shave off the, or brush off the, uh, the top layer of the full grain leather and expose the suede upper so it does cheapen the the leather it thins it out the red wing likes to maintain the high standard of their leathers so all they do is they literally reverse the leather um, and again it exposes the hairy side of the leather uh, this leather is our mojave leather this one is the san mojave and this one is the olive mojave both of them are super super soft on the outside these leathers are very malleable very breathable um, in the summer, when I've worn these boots, my feet feel nice and cool. Um, they're just really, really nice feeling on the feet. This boot over here, when I was searching for boots online, it was so difficult to find any information at all on what exactly the pewter acampo leather was. Um, and what it is, is this again is the, the flip side of the full green leather, so the hairy side. But the difference is that they cinched the outside of the leather. 
Um, so they, you know, burned it off and it makes the leather a little bit more rough feeling to the hand. It just feels, it feels a little velvety. It feels really nice still. It just doesn't feel as soft to the touch as this one. It feels um, almost a little bit raspy, I guess. That's how I would describe it. But um, same as these two boots, it's also very breathable and uh, it feels really, really cooling in the summer. It's just a really nice leather. I guess I love all of their leathers, guys, for different reasons. So moving on, I have the copper rough and tough leather. Uh, the copper rough and tough leather or the rough and tough leather is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on this boot. But this boot, I absolutely love. The leather is so moist. It feels so saturated with oils. Um, and the smell, this is my absolute favorite smelling leather. I know that sounds odd, but it has not lost the same scent that it had when I first purchased these boots um, about eight months ago or so. And I have beat these boots up pretty nicely, but they're just so, so nice. Um, so what the rough and tough leather is, it's been saturated again in these oils. So do you guys see how it marbles when I do that? That's called when you pull up the leather, you can see the texture, you can see the oils moving around. So, so luxurious. That's how I describe this boot or this leather. I have conditioned these boots before, but I could go months without doing so. And they, they're just fine. Very sturdy leather. Um, one thing I found out in reaching out to Red Wing Heritage Women is that they're not as picky when choosing the leather for this boot. Um, they end up using any hide. Um, they said that part of what makes this boot what it is is they use a hide that has defects like bug bites or scarring and it adds to the marbling and the texture of the leather. Whereas for this leather, they're more picky when choosing the hides of their leather because they want to minimize the amounts of flaws on the leather. So on this one, again, they're not so picky because the flaws are what makes this boot even more rich and more, um, I guess, distressed looking. But there you are. Um, I don't know if you can see clearly, but those are two of the different leathers right there. And finally, this is the um, Honey Chunuk boot in uh, it's a new, this is the Honey Chinook, but Chinook? Honey Chin, Honey Chinook. That's a difficult word for me to say. So the Honey Chinook boot is made out of a Nubuck leather. And the way that Nubuck leather is made is that top grain leather or the outside of the leather, they just uh, sand it off. They sand it off all the way and they basically end up exposing this velvety feeling leather. Uh, if you guys are familiar with like Timberlands or if you've seen boots like that, this is uh, what a lot of them are. It's new book leather. Very soft, very velvety leather. You can beat them up nicely and there is a kit to clean the leather off and it works very, very nice. But this leather is just as durable um, as all of the other lines of leathers. It feels delicate to the touch. Again, when you touch it, it's just very velvety, very soft and it feels delicate, but it's not. It's tough, it's tough as heck. And um, on the inside of this boot, because it's the top grain leather that was sanded to expose the Nubuck, or what they call Nubuck leather, uh, the inside is hairy, just like the suede, the rough out leathers. It's nice and hairy because, again, all they did was shave off the top grain leather or um, scrape it off to expose the new book. All right, guys, so in a nutshell, those are the different leathers that Red Wing Heritage offers women right now. Um, so I'll line them up. Once again, this is the Honey Chunuk. Now the color is honey. It's our Chunuk leather or Chunuk leather, and it's a uh, new book. This one is the Copper Rough and Tough leather. Uh, the color is called copper and it's rough and tough. This one is their pewter ocampo leather. Um, it's just a singed, singed suede. This one is suede and it's a rough out leather. So these are both rough out. 
uh, this one was left as is, this one was cinched. Same thing. This is the Oro Igino Legacy Leather. So the Legacy Leather is very oiled, it's also waxed, and it is a little more robust, a little thicker than the Boundary Leather. The Boundary Leather is very soft, pliable, it does require um, a little bit more care. Um, it's a little more delicate than this leather. It'll absorb things a lot easier. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, once again, this is Shri Reviews. I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I plan on posting as much content as I can. Um, and I hope you find it all very helpful. Take care.